All right, ladies and gentlemen, y'all already know what time it is, man. If you like the video, like the video, subscribe for more daily 2K content, and let's get right into it. NBA 2K22, Mike Wong has been tweeting, and there are some major changes that have come about as a result of the community talking. There's some rumblings. There's some uproar. One side is happy. One side is not. One thing I can tell you is no matter how they change the game, I will play this game in a way that benefits me. I ain't going to cry about it. I ain't going to get mad. I'm not going to do any of that. All I'm going to do is keep playing. I'll adjust my game, and I'll do all of that. And I feel like that's most of you guys, too. It don't matter what they do. They're going to adjust it. But I just hate that they make gameplay changes this early. Mike actually said something about that. We're going to touch on that. We're going to touch on everything, man. So if you don't do nothing else, make sure y'all like the video, man. If y'all can do me a favor, let's try to get this video to 1,000 likes. I'm trying to see something, man. We get to 1,000 likes. I want to drop this Raising with Randoms. A hilarious Raising with Randoms. You know, um... With the bots, I play with the bots, uh, with the random randoms in the bots. <sighs> randoms bad even against bots, bro. Not even gonna lie to you, but them bots serious. If you play them bots, man, let me tell, let me know the legends, the Kevin Durant, uh, Kareem Abdul Jabbar, and Dirk. If you played them, let me know down in the comment section, man. Also, make sure you leave a like. Let me know what uh, builds you rocking with, man. And um, let me know what sides you're on with this thing. Do they need to buff? Uh, do they need to? reduce the steals or do they need to reduce the speed boosting and all that good stuff man and without further ado man we just gonna get right into this thing man so check it out bro your boy mike Wong, uh you know he was tweeting and all of that good stuff and uh this is pretty much what he had to say he just said hey we're trying to we're trying to be extra careful uh to keep our day one gameplay balance intact as best we can so the um so these are pretty conservative bad tweaks. Please keep the feedback coming. And a lot of people were saying, what a lot of people are saying, bro, is that they feel like it's a little bit much with the plucks. Now, I'm not gonna lie to y'all. I feel like they do need to tone the plucks down just a tad. But at the same time, like me and Brute keep saying, if they tone the plucks down just a tad, then what's gonna happen is you're gonna have people dribbling in people's faces again. And then you're gonna have, um, you're gonna have people playing with, with other builds that probably shouldn't really be dribbling. And we're gonna have 2K21 all over again where you can't take the ball from somebody no matter what. People don't even have to be careful and they don't have to do anything. Now, if they wanna do anything, they might wanna take take you know take the interceptions down and stuff like that. I think the biggest place that you see where the plucks are ridiculous is in the wreck, which is ironic because in the wreck, you should get fouls and people should be in fear of fouls, but they're not even in, in fear. They just want to intercept and intercept and intercept and they spam. And it's almost like how 2K20 was in the beginning where you can stand in the middle of the paint and just spam and you're going to get the steal. But anyway, so these are the updates uh, that are coming right here, man. And it just says minor balancing update will go live on current gen and next gen tomorrow morning containing the following. A slight reduction in the effective, effectiveness of the mismatch expert and blinders. They reducing blinders. Blinders don't even work. Why y'all reducing that? But I get it. The mismatch expert, it does need it because people said that they just shooting right in the center's faces as soon as they get their switch. And so, and there are no patch download is required. And increasing, and increasing the effectiveness of unpluckable. Uh, the OG Grandmaster Sensei says fire, fix the servers. This better not be breaking anything. <laughs> uh, you know, stuff like that. And, uh, you know, he said fix current gen. A lot of people saying on current gen, they're getting the elevator glitch where they are not even able to to really play the game or whatever like that man so i feel bad for them if y'all know a fix for the elevator glitch y'all let me know man your boy badge plug aka wads plug he he put this out about it he says uh first next gen gameplay review uh dunking feels great uh running to the corner is smoother unlike last gen yeah you don't go out of bounds really at all on uh on this one uh rim running is harder because of the angles that you have to take yeah, that's good. Steals are a bit much. That's I agree with that in some cases. And uh, Ghost Contest are back. Ghost Contest are not back. I don't know what he's talking about on that because like you, you're not even getting, we don't even get Contest out here against that. He probably, that's his first gameplay, so it is what it is. Movement feel nice. One we want matchmaking is a W idea. Uh, my boy Air Samurai, my boy Sam, AK. Y'all need to go over there and check him out. I'll put his link down in the description. Um, he says, I like this. I like this list, but the only thing is if they tone down steals, nobody will be able to guard dribble guys. That's true. It'll be it'll be 21 all over again, and we and where even and where even if you uh, where even if you anticipate um, and what the offense is gonna do, you can't stop it. It'll kill the game. People love 22, 
and it's part of the uh, it's part of the reason why. That's absolutely correct. It's like like that's my guy, Air Samurai. Big link down in the description. Go check him out. Instagram, uh, all that good stuff, man. He and his wife, real good people. And last but not least, he put out some real funny shorts, man. Them joints hilarious. So y'all go check that out. Awesome content creator. If you need some art, you might want to hit him up too, man. But just like we said, this is what we saying. They can make the changes. It's not a big deal if they do make the changes, but just know what we're going to get if they make these changes. They make said change. Like the only thing that's keeping people from running wild and doing what they want to is the fear that somebody might steal the ball from them. You don't even gotta be able to steal the ball. It's just the fear that the ball might get stolen. Because they fear the ball getting stolen, that makes it easier for us or better for us on defense because people don't try just ridiculous things like they did in 2K21 where it was like, I don't even care if you're there. I'm dribbling through you. I'm doing this. Boom, boom, boom. I don't care. So that's what I feel that does. If just, just realize that if they make this change and they change it wrong and it's to the point where you can't still, like right there, I mean, it's a bad play. He went right into the dude. Why shouldn't he lose the ball? If you look at me and my squad play, me, Brute, Gambit, all those guys, we only go for the steal when we're lined up and we it's a very high percentage. Like I probably reach one or two times a game and those one or two times I'm getting the steal. I understand if you want to get rid of the spammers and all of that good stuff. I ain't got no problem with that where you get the unrealistic launches and stuff like that. But like right, right there, bro, let's run that back. Let's run, run that back, bro. Look at what he's doing. This is a guy that shouldn't even really be dribbling, right? Boom, I'm there. Like, like, I don't know if they want me to do something else or what. He's dribbling, I'm here, I'm right on the ball. Like, this should happen 100 out of 100 times, I feel like, right? Boom, like, I just I just take the ball. Like, this is a, he's, he's being willy-nilly with the ball. If he don't have to fear that at all, what's gonna happen? So that's, that's how I feel about it. Your boy Laker fan also said something, man. And uh, we gonna look at this. Just wanna say, you're a genius. The dunk meter was the coolest thing ever. Uh, that you put in the game separates the good from the bad slasher and it lets the and it lets the great actually stand out and be great some dudes out here are scared to dunk but i'm in love with it and i ain't gonna lie to you man like my boy like look at that thing right there the dunk meter the alley meter all of that good stuff man i feel like all of those are great additions to the game because what they do is they make it so if we throw an alley, you knew we meant to throw the alley and we were able to react. It's not a bailout alley. If I'm going through there and I know some guys are now and I'm trying to dunk this thing, hey, you can still dunk with, with just pushing it up. You can do the safe dunks. But if you really want to just go in there and just bang on somebody and you know you're trying to bang out, then hey, it is what it is. And like I said, man, I don't, I know these guys, they got, you know, like they got ran right there. But I don't want the games to be like 2K, um, I don't want it to go back to being like 2K21 where anybody can dribble, anybody can do anything, and it's not because they're good. Anybody was able to do anything because, why? You couldn't take the ball and you couldn't stop them from scoring inside. So you couldn't block dunks and you couldn't take the ball from them. How is that something that's good? If that gotta be, there has to be balance. If you want defenders, defenders gotta be able to defend. One way the defenders are gonna be able to defend, they got they have to put that fear that they can take the ball. If the offense has no fear that they can take the ball, then they just gonna do whatever they want to. We're gonna have 2K21 all over again. But y'all let me know what side y'all on. Look, do they just need to change the game all together or do y'all just agree they need to take, take away the unrealistic steals, tone those down maybe a little bit. If you got Hall of Fame, Unpluckable or something, even if you got Hall of Fame unpluckable, I don't want you dribbling in my face. Just because <laughs> a lot of times you will see me on stream and I'll be like, bro, I gave this dude three chances to stop dribbling the ball in my face before I took the ball from him. That's what I did. I let him come in. I then blah, 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 blah. And then I'm just like, just give me the ball, bro, because you don't know what you're doing with it. Anyway, y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section, man. Um, if y'all played today, I've seen it today. I've seen people still getting getting um steals. I seen my boy Q to God, but he's not really somebody that you could really look at like that because he's really good at the game, so he's gonna get steals. Uh, I'm gonna see what Top Lock Mad got for us today, man, and we'll see how that goes. But I'm gonna holler y'all next time, man. Um, till next time. It's your boy Jay Easy, aka Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ. Guys, please.